But even then, yes. we, we can't, much as yes, the, this will be the ideal things that we, everyone will want, regardless of where they are from, whether they're from Plateau State or from Lagos or from wherever sure. it is they're from. Uh, you do know that Plateau in recent times has had this history of conflict, uh, indigen versus settler. Uh, sometimes you have streaks of religion creeping into it. Is it really something that the Plateau can afford at this time? Not listening to this group of people who say, you know, we don't want you to continue with another bureau. You see, what I have adopted is to ask who is throwing up this question? Who? Let us, let us know the person, or let us know the group, or let us know the individuals. In some cases, permit me to just say, some of them are spent politicians, or what the poultry farmers would call, spent layers. They, they, they have been tried with public offices, some of them have failed. Some of them have nothing to offer, even their communities. They are just using this as a smoke screen for their, you know. But is there merit in, the, in, in that idea that the governor is actually thinking of handpicking a successor? I wouldn't, I wouldn't like the word handpicking. Mm -hmm. Everybody that knows the present governor, who has been in the helm of affairs for nearly eight years now, mm -hmm. He has carried the party along. He has carried a, l a very large population of Plateau people. Let, let us yes. use a softer um, word, yes. you know, since you don't like handpicking. Yes. What about supporting a particular candidate? You know, is it true? Is that merit in that statement that it could be that he's supporting another Biron person? Y yes, he, he has his preferences. If I have been the captain of a ship or a, a, a manager of a team, and I have a variety of resources at, at my disposal or at my inspection or at my watch, I will certainly know who uh, is best suited for what assignment. And I, I have said here clearly that I don't feel there is any uh, justification to outlaw or uh, I mean to unconstitutionally deny the Bureau from even contesting. Well, the way it's going, uh, yes. it would seem, uh, sorry, not, uh, it would seem as if, uh, well, something is really not clear here, because these are members of the PDP in Plateau State. All of them, yes. uh, whether you are from Tarok tribe, you are Biram, uh, they are all members of the PDP. Don't sure. you think, uh, as a, a political scientist, yes. that they're following the PDP formula or rule of zoning and uh, since the incumbent uh, is uh, a bureau so they thought it was their turn uh, to have a shot at uh, the governorship sure let me say this let me again repeat there are 17 aspirants as of today in the race even for the primaries all right out of these 17, nine... That's for PDP alone? Yes. In, in for PDP, State. Yes. Nine come from the south. Five come from the, the central. And then three come from the north. What kind of zoning, what kind of arrangement will that be? Where all the zones are aspiring. So Plato is forging ahead. We want uh, to move our political uh, ideology beyond ethnicity beyond we, we rather want to push you know for someone who can carry the state in fact in the last eight years the state has become like one constituency we have had experiences before now where the state uh, i mean is defined primarily in, in the interest of, of, of the person in, in the helm of affairs. A road can be constructed and it ends in a particular village. If you are looking for someone who can carry the state and, yes. as you say, yes. finish what the President incumbent has government. started, yes. then why wouldn't you let the people decide? Why would they, why would, for instance, um, Ima Goody. I'm still contesting Ima the Goody. idea Hold on. of, of I'm coming. A position. I I'm have coming. not seen any evidence. Ima Goody from Aberdeen says, Governor Jan has anointed his cousin, Senator Dung, whom they have agreed to swap to be the next is, governor. I don't know Dung. That information is uh, a little bit wrong. Well, he's writing from Aberdeen. But the so question will be, why, would, why wouldn't the people be allowed to make the choice? Instead of, the people are as you said, you said the governor has a preference. 
Uh, I mean, I, I, it's a tendential thing. I say he may have, he may have his preference. Mm. If all of the can, uh, aspirants are before him, he, he may have. And uh, I, should I, he be yes. seen to have a preference? Well, why not? Is he not a Nigerian? Doesn't he have uh, the right? The party, you know, at the end of it, whoever emerges as the flag bearer will be supported by all. Do you understand? Mm. So it's like a pre pre. Uh, for instance, the emergence of good luck, Jonathan, President Goodluck Jonathan. The party presented him as a consensus candidate. How did it come about? How was that decision reached? You are asking me why would you allow the people? Would you say it's not the people that uh, finally uh, uh, came to that conclusion within the party structure? You know why we're discussing this? Well, yes, you, because uh, my colleagues did ask, and they said, well, it could be a mini Nigeria, and we've seen some relative peace in Jos uh, for some time. And if people are already complaining now, leading up to the elections, they just would want to see, uh, well, the peace being uh, disturbed or disrupted in Plateau State. That is why we're trying to see how everything can be resolved. These members of the PDP, uh, have they been spoken to? Uh, by the way, you're a member of the PDP? Sure. Good. So, uh, members of your party who are mm. complaining, yeah. arguing, uh, in the, uh, you know, on the line of uh, ethnic uh, uh, ownership or mm. of the uh, of the ass, you know, when it comes to coming into the fray of politics yes. uh, leading up to the primaries next week, how have they been taken in uh, to the extent that this argument you have uh, exposed now? Uh, is well seated amongst them. Well, let me say clearly that the relative peace being achieved today is the handiwork, among other things, of the governor. He has worked tirelessly to, you know, secure the state and bring relative peace, which we now enjoy. It will not be complimentary. It will be completely strange to imagine that he will want to rupture the peace. Okay? So, the party has its processes. I have, I have not seen where any one aspirant is being denied or intimidated or, you know, cowed out of the race. I have not seen anything. And none of those writing, you know, have alluded to any concrete action. In other words, none has been asked to step down. Not at all. Everybody, in fact, this is a governor that is even pleading that the opposition, people should be in the opposition. He wants opposition. He wants somebody to constructively engage him. But again, you know, uh, the, the fear amongst uh, some of them will be uh, the transparency uh, on that day. How open can this contest be? It will be as open as the, 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 the arrangements of PDPR. And he has not done anything to scuttle or to uh, model uh, the process. So this is my argument. Let us promote institutions. Let us promote values. Let us promote those things that will you know, minimize the excesses of an individual. If the PDP processes and, 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 and ways throw up a particular candidate, you know, in the most transparent manner, that is it. That is what the party will hold, and that's what the party will support. Is, is, the, is the governor in support of anyone? Let's say uh, borrow Marquez's words so that we don't go back to handpicking. Uh, is he in support of a known candidate? Perhaps that's the fear amongst others. To the best of my knowledge, the governor has not declared, uh, I mean publicly, that this is uh, his candidate or this is his aspirant. No. Has he declared it secretly? That is left for you to investigate as a general. I don't know. 
It has not come to me. <laughs> I, I wouldn't know. But you know the governor, as the leader of the party in your state, has Absolutely. influence. He is. So how do you curb his excesses? After all, politics is all about influence. Politics is all about influence. If he has no cloud of influence, he would not have had the achievements he has. He is in, uh, in charge of men and material. So, look, politics is a contest. And I have said here, I would rather, let's exhale those complaining. Who are they? Where are they coming from? What's their intention? You know? What is their pedigree? What are their <coughs> antecedents? Some of the people that left the PDP, some of the people that wanted to create problems for the PDP, creating PDP 2 in Plateau, are now trying to get crash to come back to the party. Okay, if so many people have not stayed and sustained the party, what will they be coming back to? I think uh, uh, let's just take a moment now. Uh, yes. we'll, we'll, we'll go on phone and speak with uh, Mr. Danjuma Maina. Uh, he's a lawyer and he's also the former director general of Jonah Giants campaign organization in 2011.